the f f fastest kid in town. Oh, awesome. See you, new kid. Go on, don't be shy. I see you've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Uh, hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Nah, dude, I don't selfie when I'm sober. It's my rule. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you want to get high? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it! And you work here in a pot store. Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh. I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. That turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in the town that we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, Classy. Yeah, Classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea. No, 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 no. It's uh, Classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that Classy. Sure, I got her order. There she is. See, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax cushion with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool, relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts. I can't sleep. I got no appetite. This shitty town is so fucked up. We gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick liquors coming into my store, telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you. You relax. Tenders, get in here! It's time to give these kids a fucking consultation! Be careful! There's product everywhere! Need a light? I can do this all day! Cause I'm a super 
absorbent towel, motherfuckers! Our powers are useless against the towel! You're gonna wish you were a towel! Welcome to the last day of the rest of your life. All I want to do is help people out with their anxiety and shit. That's why I can't take my five minute lunch breaks in peace. I have to do everything around here. Hey, take it out on the towel. You kids take your bad attitude somewhere else. Walk it off, my lord. You stay the fuck away from the prize, you hear me? Ah, ah made you cook. The customer is wrong, bitch. Ah. Oh. Shit, now you light my stock on fire. Sure smells nice, though. God's air fresh enough. Burn another pile. This is for scrambles, you bastard! Yeah. Oh, this is workplace harassment. I'm burning, I'm burning here! Don't mess this up, dickbag. Getting the shakes. Someone call my sponsor. Someone's ready for their spin-off. In Turkish markets, at least. This kind of stuff isn't in the employee manual. This is what a pissed off town looks like. Hey. Good sesh, kids. Good burn. I like my job because I'm constantly learning new things. These fucking pussies can't call them that hot. Fuck. Dude, I don't work out a lot. Burn another pile. Your leader is like burning up here. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Get lit. Uh, you like that, you stupid tail? Your turn is now property of Soon and Friends. This is gonna sting. On the plate. Oh shit, quit burning the product. Gotta admit it's some quality bud though. <laughs> we gotta burn another. Ah! I think I might close the shop early today. Ah, hey! Now you've done it. Oh man! <laughs> I was hoping you'd burn that one too, make it a real party atmosphere in here. Light, light up that last pile. This is bullshit. You wanna see something cool? Get me some hairspray and a light. Light it up, new kid. Hey, this is. I know we're in combat and all, but I feel super relaxed around you dudes right now. Oh, you're a cool guy, man. Oh, I'm psyched to see you, man.
Yeah, this is for Classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. So come by anytime for a hookup. Well done, new kid. Now get that over to Classy. Kid, where to? Here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen, the place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fefez. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken there. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast pass, ah, ah. Fast pass, ah, ah. Fast pass, ah, ah, ah. Fast, fast pass, fast, fast pass out. Looky, looky, if it ain't my little hero. Hey, kid. You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. New kid, this is Super Craig. You need to get more of your character sheet filled out. Go over to Crunchy's micro -brews. Somebody there can help you. So it turns out gender is actually a little more uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Uh, okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Hey, Forthy, come play with us big kids. Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep walking, pussy. Hey, new kid, where to? Awesome. See 
you, new kid. Looks like your butt can do some crazy shit. Maybe you can use your farts to pause time. Huh? Oh great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now I got some uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay, great. So as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so that makes you straight or heterosexual. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. totally drank too much last night. It was hilarious. Hey, it's that boy! Yeah, they're cisgender! And they're heterosexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. America, love it or... Get your... Oh my God, the butt lord fucked you. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Get They could have moved if they didn't want to get all scratched up. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to fuck you up. I'm big again. God damn it. Hacha! Oh no, my glazies! Aren't you glad I'm on your team and not fighting against you in some cruel twist of fate? You fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right guys? My turn. Hell yeah! <laughs> Maybe we can be pals after you check out of the ER. Not gonna lock up! Lights, teeth, whatever. I am out of fuck again. Uh, yeah, you put on some weight. That sucks for you, new kid. Avert your eyes, children. The coon is about to get into some adult situation. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saving me the trouble of flipping that shit head off. Yeehaw! Ah! Your attack only fueled my rage! <laughs> that 
that's going to leave some scars. Already? Okay. Mega this punch a roof. Nah, I do not. Yeah. You gonna start taking this seriously now, Super Craig? I doubt it. Full disclosure, this is gonna hurt like hell. Somebody call for a fast pass? Good, good going, new kid. Catch you later. Microbrewery. You'll find a person inside who can assist you with race. Good luck. Super Craig, out. And now you got a problem with me. I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me. Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah! Ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. Oh, oh, uh. You! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Hmm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression, about to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression, hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid, not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. 
That coffee belongs to Tam Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression! Hit him! Uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Remember, kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. Somebody call for a f fast pass? Better run fast! There you go! Want some of this, Forthy? See you later, Forthy. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, hey, little superhero. I know you're out there saving kitties. If you come across any of my kitties and their pink scarves, can you bring them back to me? I can't find them anywhere. My kitties are being hunted by those mean sixth graders. If you see any of my furry babies, come talk to me. Okay, honey buns? That vigilante has given us all something to believe in. Sure, I'll let you in the bank. After the markets collapse. You want to hear a secret, sweetie? Neither can anyone else. New room. 
Fucking finally. Rawr! Another foe falls before the might of Kunindrin. They're counting on you, partner. Like my mama did my daddy, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, ow! That was a thorough fisting. Who needs to get punched the most? Make a fist punch. Oh yeah, take that, bitch. I'm gonna show you how we put the double whammy in our double whammy wings. Your turn is now property of Coon and welcome to Coon Town. Make way for King. This is coming together exactly how I planned. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. Ow! Well done, butthole. Now, who ordered the old fashioned beating? Cold as hell? Don't just take that lying down, butt boy. Here we go. Ah! Ah! The diabetes claims another victim. Are we done here? Come here, Forthy, I'll show you how to pop wheelies. Supposed to be a yoga instructor. Go on through. So then, so then the wop says to the Polak, "If I wanted tits, I'd have beat up the." Oh, oh, what do we have here? <laughs> You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town, shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Hero's head. You're only putting off inevitable defeat. Hey, new kid, where to? R -r Righteous. There you go. You want some of this, Forthy? What's okay, wrong, you're Forthy? approaching the hideout. Chicken? Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. 
You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house. Stand your ground! God, what the hell do you want with me? Get the hell out of my house, goddammit! Return fire! That'll teach you to corrupt our youth with drugs. Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero. That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again.